I'd like to put a quick guide coat on here. Uh, when I was sanding this primer out flat, I saw a little dimple around here, but now I can't find it. So I'm going to go ahead and put a guide coat on. We're going to block sand it dry with 400 again. Then we're going to get our uh, glaze putty here, our spot putty, and fill up that low spot. They also now have carbon guide coat that it's like a powder. You just put it on, wipe it on, and it stays on. It's pretty cool. On the next videos, I'll show you some of that stuff. Just gonna go flat with the block. Here it is right here. Okay, and that's that. The rest of this is the shape of the tank. All right, now that I found it, all we have to do is just get the little tip of our sandpaper here, gouge it in, right? Just re, re sand it in right around here, just like that. All right, and then now we know where to put our glaze putty. So we'll just put this on a little putty knife, dab it right there, and, uh, just fill it in like that, basically. Okay. Hopefully that does it. That should do it. I'm gonna use our finger and fill those up. It's gonna be a little hard to get. Without our finger. Uh, this little metal bare spot, we're not gonna worry about that because we're gonna wet sand all this down one last time and then reprime it. Um, I can mix up some 2K and just do the whole thing with 2K again, or um, you could basically get some high build primer in a can type, right, 1K, and just hit those spots quickly, let it dry, and then scuff it down with 400, and then you're ready for paint. Uh, we put some glaze putty over the dent here. Now we're just going to block sand it with some 400 and see how she's looking. You don't want to go too deep to basically take it all out again. That looks pretty good to me. Just like that. All right, so we have our little dent filled with our glaze putty. Uh, this is all blocked out here, uh, which we won't do now, but you get the idea. Uh, we'll show you the rest on the VIP. We can go ahead and finish doing some more block sanding here. Right, so we have it pretty much blocked out on the top area now. If you look at the fluorescent light in the picture, right, you can see how smooth it looks when we move. This is basically how your clear coat is gonna look on the finished product. All right, so if you see it very orange peely, this is not. You're gonna see how you have to sand. If it looks orange peely at this stage, you wanna cut it down even flatter. All right, just keep sanding it, block sanding it until it comes out like glass. Because when you have your clear coat on it, this is basically how it's gonna look. And you can see that, you can see the reflection of the fan up on top there and how nice that looks. All right, so we're gonna sand the whole tank out. Uh, we're gonna go ahead, finish sanding this area up in here. And um, if we have any spots like this, the glazed putty areas, we could 1K prime it with a spray can, or if you want to, and if you're mixing some up, you could spray some 2K back over it and then hit those spots again. Uh, but you basically, you want the whole thing gray again, one color before you start basing. All right, um, not really this time because we're gonna be basing it black. Well, I hope you enjoyed the tip. It's Tony from LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com. To learn more about auto body and paint and how you can apply these same strategies in your home garage or in your workshop, uh, check out LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com right now. I'm giving away a free 85-page auto body manual plus a 90-minute auto body and paint DVD. I show you a lot of information in that DVD. Just help me with shipping and tell me where to send it. 
Again, it's Tony. Thanks. Comment below if you're on YouTube. Click the link below. Go to the blog and comment. I would love to hear from you. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. So we were testing out how to um, kids learn about like um, how to be like dad or mom's um, video helper. That's what this is for today. And that's all. Bye. See you in the third video. My dad painted a purple and silver on the purple. And and my dad did these hearts and I did these.